Hey guys, James with Jetty USA and I'm getting together with you today to talk a little bit about telemetry. We get a lot of questions about, hey, what should I put in my airplane? What should I put in my sailplane? What can I measure? Uh, so we've broken it down into a couple of videos. This, this segment is going to be sailplanes and powered airplanes or prop driven airplanes. Um, we'll start with sailplanes first. Most of the guys, most of the things that guys are looking at, whether it be a small sailplane, large sailplane like this GG1000, uh, would be altitude or rate of climb and descent or the Vario. Uh, we have two sensors for giving you altitude measurement directly. Uh, one of those is our MLT EX that measures your terminal altitude and then we have the MVario that will give you your altitude. It will also give you your Vario tones to let you know whether you're rising or sinking. Uh, the other things it will do, it will work as an ALES or limited motor run launch device. Uh, to cut the motor off at the end of your climb out at a certain specific altitude or time. Um, and you can use that for other contest formulations. That can be turned on or off in the aircraft, depending on the region you compete in. Uh, some of the other stuff that you're going to want to measure, of course, uh, if you're a prop-driven sailplane, electric sailplane, you're going to want to measure the battery information. That can be done with our MUI sensors. The MUI are available from 30 to 200 amps measure voltage, amperage, and battery capacity, so it works like a fuel gauge in your car. A um, couple of things, if you're running a great big scale sailplane, guys like to go a little nuts and add a lot of stuff in there. So you can do things like a pitot tube driven airspeed sensor, MGPS to know where you traveled, how far downrange you went, be able to plot that travel on the PC later when you get home. All that can be done with the MGPS sensor. Uh, if you're using pneumatic gear in an aircraft, uh, you can go to the M bar sensor that actually measures pneumatic pressure. Uh, it works great if you have ge pneumatic gear, gear doors, or other functions on the aircraft that are open via air pressure. Um, we have our MRPM AC that works great if you run an electric motor, ties into two of the three poles on the brushless motor. It will give you engine RPM. If you're running a gearbox, you can actually enter that calculation in, in the software on your DS or DC transmitter and get the correct prop speed uh, with the gear ratio conversion. Uh, you can also measure temperature of your electronics or of your power system using our MT125 or MT300 temperature sensors. Those use a thermal couple probe uh, to each plug into the sensor, sensor plugs into the receiver. Now if you're on a big powered airplane, prop driven airplane, uh, especially big scale airplane, you have a lot of things that you're probably going to measure. Uh, we've got sensors for measuring your individual receiver packs in the aircraft. Uh, two sensors actually. You can run either the MULI-6, which measures the health across six different cells of a battery. So that'll give you individual cell voltage and gives you a good way to monitor it. You can also use our MU-3, which will allow you to monitor up to three batteries, total voltage only. Uh, and then the MUI, of course, which measures all of your battery uh, voltage, amperage, and capacity if you're running electric motors. Uh, if you're running fuel motors, we give you the same fuel tank capability or fuel meter capability by running our M-Flow gas sensor. Uh, basically runs in line between the tank and the carb, measures the rate of flow, and sends that data to a small sensor which sends it to the radio. Inside that sensor you can actually take control of how it's displayed, uh, enter in the volume of the fuel tank you're using, and by measuring rate of flow that will give you an amount of fuel consumed by percentage. So you'll know that hey I've used 20% or 30% of my tank. Uh, again in a scale airplane under pneumatic situation you're going to want to run the M-bar sensor to measure the gears, MGPS to let you know where you are, uh, and various other sensors in the aircraft. If you have more questions about what you want to put in your airplane other than what you've seen here today, give us a call here at, at Jetty USA uh, or send me an email at sales at Jetty USA and we'd be glad to help you out. Thank you and we'll see you next time.